Dash. The original piece was posted on July 25, 2018. Overconfident Imran Khan, Dirty Laundry Washing CH. Nisar, in disarray PMLN, on the ventilator PPP. Imran Khan is still an unpredictable, unreliable entity to the domestic and international establishments. Shabazz Sharif is the sort of last resort option, so is being kept under the clouds of impending corruption cases. Ch. Nisar, although in reality, a shoe-licking slave of the corrupt master for a long, but portraying otherwise as a nagging, self-righteous man of his own. He is considered to be the most reliable proposition by the military establishment. PPP, with the exclusion of Zardari, would be given the role of a spoiler or fine-tuner, to keep Imran Khan in Ch. Nisar is in check. Imran Khan, even if made PM, would be tempered with the most powerful role given to CH. Nisar. People's expectations of Imran Khan need to be tapered down to avoid disappointment. He, being surrounded by chronic infidel power brokers, would not be able to deliver on most of the campaign promises. Shakir2.wordpress.com Donate to the Chief Justice Initiated Dams Project in Pakistan. Helpline 021-111-727-273 P.S. Comments were posted on FB on July 25th early in the morning. 10 hours ago. Looks like a miracle is about to happen. A majority government of Imran Khan. P. S. 2 February 10th, 2023. Read the above post and opine as to how the events came to pass per my analysis. Post your candid comments, please. Thanks. Today on the 10th of February 2023, Pakistan is passing through the most critical ever situation. The military has been exposed and disfavored immensely. Bajwa, retired CNC has become the most detested figure in Pakistan due to his corruption, heavy-handed dealings with several corrupt politicians, supporting criminal elements, and even putting them in power by dislodging Imran Khan, whose government was doing well after a long period of economic degradation. Now Mr. Khan is out of the government demanding fresh elections after dissolving two provincial assemblies, Punjab and KPK, but harder to come by. The new CNC is in no mood to break from the tradition of protecting ex-chiefs from any court-martial, civil or criminal prosecution, or public humiliation. Bajwa installed government is doing everything to keep clinging to power, for being out of government means behind bars for 30 years of corruption. Now, the incumbent government, military junta, establishment, and foreign establishments, none want Khan to return to power, for it will hurt everybody's vested interest except Pakistan and Pakistanis. Khan hardly has any powerful friends in his party, in Pakistan or outside Pakistan, due to his insubordination stance. He refuses to take dictates from anyone within or without Pakistan. The problem all these forces are facing is that he is not corrupt, extremely popular in and outside the country amongst ordinary people, so they cannot do away with him from politics despite, as a last resort, they tried to eliminate him, but fortunately he survived. Although extremely difficult for him to ascend to power once again, however, if he does, it would change the fate, history, and politics of Pakistan forever. The military role might diminish, yet it is difficult to envisage its complete elimination, for none of the politicians, including Imran Khan, can carve his way to the corridors of power without it. The judiciary, the second most powerful constituent of the establishment, would also have a similar fate. Let's keep the hopes alive. Comment slash like slash share slash follow and subscribe. Shakir Mumtaz. Author, thinker, analyst.